Hi kids, good morning. Today is Wednesday, April 29th from 2020. I wanted to thank you for all the effort and the good jobs that you're making at home. I'm really proud of you and I miss you guys. So today we will start passing lists so you can listen the names of your classmates and remember them and remember those times at the classroom. Okay, let's start with the list. Maria Jose, you can say present if you want from your place or you can listen your name if only if you want. Maria Jose, Carlos, Camila Bejarano, Camila Burgos, Giselle Paola, Roberta, Francisco, Daniela, Alexandra, Brianna, Valentina, Natalia, Edgar, Lailen, Diego, Bruno, he says Pollito, Alberto, Gabriel, Emiliano, Osvaldo, Yaretsi, Armando, Mauricio, Jedrek, Nicole, Lilibet, Valeria, Renata, René, Camila Sánchez y Paulo. Yay, that's all of you. Well, after we start remember our classmates, we can start with our activities from today. In the past weeks, you answered the page 172 with the topic, how to create a budget. And that's where we're gonna start today. Budget is a plan for how to save money and spend it. You could create a monthly, a weekly, or even a yearly budget. But today I will show you how to create one, okay? I, we will create a weekly budget. So on the activity that I sent you in the calendars, you have a problem to solve. And I will teach you how to do it with a different problem, but it has, it's almost the same, only that the quantities change, okay? How to create a budget. This is a weekly budget. Israel gets 100 by week on his job. He spends 15 on food, seven in transportation, and he pays another 12 for rent at week. And we can create the budget like this. First, we need to, we need to see uh, on what he, he's spending his money. What are his needs? Remember that need is something that you need to survive. So his needs are food, transportation, and rent. And he spends in total $38 by week. How do we know that this? Well, we make an addition of the quantities of the food, transportation, and rent. And the total is 34. Now we need to, to see what are, in what are he spending his money for save. He, he wants to save for a pet, to buy video games and to buy some clothes. He wants to save $10 for the pet, six for the video games and 12 for the clothes. This gives us a total of 28. Now we need to add 34 plus 28 to know how, mu how much money does he can get to spend on whatever he needs or whatever he wants. He has $10, I'm sorry, $100. And then he, we need to make an addition of this, 34 plus 28 and give us 62. Israel needs to save 62 per week to cover his spendings and his savings, spending and savings. And he gets 38 free money to spend on whatever he needs or he wants. Okay, uh, this is how you make a weekly budget. And well, I will play you an, a little video uh, about the importance of creating of create budgets. 
to you even with your age. So let's pay attention kids. Will you use the new skateboard? Well, when you put it like that, I'll ride my new skateboard every day. I guess the comic can wait. Well, hello, boys. I haven't seen you two for a while. Hello, Mrs. Cashmore. Barry, I see you walked out of the comic book store without a comic. You're out of money again? Not really. I am saving my money to buy a new skateboard. He wanted to buy a comic book but realized he could have both the comic and the skateboard. Well, it sounds like you've been learning a lot about how to manage your money, Barry. Yes, but I wish I had more money so that I can buy more things. I just never seem to have enough. Do you have a budget? A budget? What's that? It's a microeconomical term, meaning a plan for spending and saving. There you go, give sense, using those big words. <laughs> Just remember the plan for spending and saving part. I can do that. Here comes Fanny and Susie. Hi, Mrs. Cashmore. Hello, girls. It's nice to see you again. Mrs. Cashmore, I think you would be really proud of how Barry is making good choices about money. I've seen that already. Yes, I'm very impressed. Whatever. We were just talking about a budget. Do any of you kids know about the smart budget? No, Mrs. Cashmore. I know what a budget is but not a smart budget. Why don't we go to my classroom? I think this is a good opportunity for you to learn another financial lesson. I guess it won't hurt. What I want you kids to learn today is called a smart budget. S-M-A-R-T, smart. Is it any different than other budgets? All budgets are helpful in developing a plan to save and spend money. But the SMART budget gives you a guide on how to create a successful plan and how to follow that plan. But I don't have much money, so I don't see why I need a plan to save it and spend it. I can either save it or spend it. Those are my only choices. A budget helps you to control your money, instead of your money controlling you. That's a good point, Penny. So, what does SMART stand for? The S stands for specific. The first thing you need to do in setting up a smart budget is to have a specific goal. What is the purpose for your budget? I don't have a budget, but my goal for saving is to buy a new skateboard. Perfect example, Barry. So are you saving for just any new skateboard or is there one you have your eye on? Oh, I know exactly which one I want and how much it costs. How much is your alarm? I get 15 ringgit per week and the board will cost 75 ringgit. So your goal might be to save 10 ringgit each week until you have the 75 ringgit that you need to buy the skateboard. That's specific. You know exactly what you need to accomplish. M stands for measurable. Barry's goal is measurable because he knows exactly how much he needs to save for and how much he has each week to put into savings. He can see if he's meeting his goal or not because it is measurable. So if he spends money on something else, like a comic book, he would see how he has stayed off the plan. Correct. He can watch his money activity and see if he is staying with the plan or if he is going off course. What does the A stand for? The A is for attainable. Are you able to reach your goal? Barry has enough money each week. If he stays on course with his plan, he can have his new skateboard in two months. I have a smart budget and didn't even know it. 
Well, let's look at the next part of the SMART budget and see if you have all of the steps. The R stands for realistic. Some people have goals that are just not practical. If Barry wants to buy a real aeroplane with his allowance, he will quickly run into problems. He doesn't even know how to fly. What would he do with an airplane anyway? It would definitely not be realistic. That's true. But buying a new skateboard is very realistic. If he follows his plan, he will have enough money and he will be able to use what he purchases. That leaves us with T. Timely. Is Barry's budget goal a timely one? Yes, he can have his new skateboard within two months. That seems like a reasonable amount of time. And then I can start showing Fred how to do tricks instead of him always showing me. Whatever! So a smart budget is specific, measurable, attainable, reasonable, and timely. I can use that. Barry, let's go to the skate park. I want you to show me some of your tricks. Those two are spending a lot of time together. Hmm, you don't suppose they are? Interesting. In this episode, the students learn a very important tool that will enable them to start on their road to financial success, and that is creating a budget. A budget is your saving and spending plan. With a budget, you will put your money into savings first before you spend. You will know how much you spend every day and you can keep track of your money. A budget is important because it helps you pay yourself first prevents you from overspending, and allows you to prioritize. Smart budgeting means save first, make a list, apportion your money, review and trim your spending. Start your smart budget today! Well, after this video, kids, you can conclude that it's important to you to learn how to create a budget and to apply it on your life. As you see, you can start right now, even if, you're, if your entrance of money is little because it's the money that your parents give you, but you can create a budget with that quantity of money. Okay, now let's pass to the other team. Okay, the next topic, topic I'm sorry, is from language section and it's on your page, let me tell you. It's on page, page 90 and 91 from your language section on your book. And let me show you today, we are going to talk about Future Progressive. Future Progressive has different kind of sentences. We are going to start with Future Progressive tense. We use this tense when you want to say or to talk about a continuous action that will happen sometime in the future. Anytime, but in the future. And it has one rule. You must add to your sentence will be before the verb ending in ing. I put you, I wrote you here three examples. The first one says, third grade will be having a party or on Saturday. Will be, and then I put the verb with ing. Second one, Jedrek will be playing video will be playing video games with his friends. You know that it's in a future time because it's will be. Renata will be cooking with her grandma. Now this is too easy, I think. This is future progressive, and this information will help you to answer page ninety. Let me show you page ninety. Okay, this is page 90. You have almost the same information, but with different words here. You have here another examples, and this is the activity from this page. You must read the text and underline all the verbs that you can find in the future progressive. Now, on the next page, we are going to talk about affirmative future progressive and I will show you my examples.
Now, this is future progressive and affirmative future progressive is more specific. You use it when you want to express actions that will be in progress at a particular time in the future. You use will be and you use the verb with ing. I put you three examples here. Next week, Camila Bejarano will be playing the piano by this time. So, you know, you. Now, with affirmative future, you know that Camila Bejarano will be playing the piano not just next week. You know now the time. It's more specific. Letter B, Edgar will be going to camp during summer vacations. You know that he will be in a camp in a summer vacations, not just a vacations. Letter C, I'll, I will be using my new shoes after the day of my birthday. This information and these exa examples will help you to answer page 91. Remember that if you have another question or doubts, you can find me on the chat live from Al Algebraics, or you can send me your questions or all, all, or all of your doubts via message uh, with Algebraics too and I'll be able to answer to you from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. And the chat live is Monday and Wednesday from 11 to 12. Thank you guys for paying attention and for being here. See you tomorrow. Bye kids.